Hello, so topic 16 is choosing the right words. So this is exam practice, multiple choice. So A, B, C, or D. So you have to choose the right one. So when you do these type of exams, always write uh, one answer. Don't leave it blank. You have a 25% chance of getting it right. Just, uh, okay, so here's an example. Disciplined people usually mm, their beds every morning. So you have do, wash, make, or tidy. Now, typically um, in Czech, you have do, make is one word, like uh, dělat. So if you have do and make, it's usually going to be one of these two, do or make. Okay, so these are all similar. Wash, tidy is similar. But uh, it's either do or make. So what do you think? Is it do their beds? Ustlat postele or make their beds? Well, it seems like work. It's a trick question, so people think it's do, but actually it's make. Make your bed is a collocation. Je to slovní spojení. So it's make, make your bed. Okay. So these are typical in multiple choices. We have two which are very similar, and maybe one or two which are not so similar. Okay, so in class we will just make sentences with other words do clean tidy make a sentence and leave one word out then you give answers a b c or d you make up your answers and you can test your partner or somebody okay so this is good practice for example uh, we need to do our old kitchen so we have a b c or d in up over or on what do you think uh, you mm, wash your hair need should had better you could you it's a question could you me tidy the garage make show support or help what do you think is in there okay i don't think i have the answers here no so here's some more examples of multiple choice very typical so here's grammar we did last week uh, well, in uh, lessons 15, I think, or 16, I feel sick. I wish I eaten so much. So this is the uh, conditional, one conditional sentence. And uh, well, with wish, it's not really conditional, but it's a, similar to a conditional sentence. I wish I, so eaten what can we put before eaten? So it's the third form and it's, hmm, this is not very good. Okay, so some more examples of multiple choice. So I feel sick. I wish I eaten so much. So here is grammar. So I wish, so with eaten, we can't put didn't. So we didn't eat wasn't eaten that could be as passive and haven't eaten is also possible so one two three are possible but it's not passive so it's actually hadn't hadn't eaten that's correct and it's a bit like the conditionals the third conditional a little bit like that if only i fly so i would never be late okay if only is like i wish if only i now, can you fly? No. So it's, it's uh, hypothetical. So we want to put it in the past. So if only I could. So if it's hypothetical, not real, then it's in the past. I would never be late. A little bit like the second conditional. And if I, two brains, I would never forget things. So do you have two brains? No, I don't. So but if I... So we want the past, it's like number two. So if I had the big meal, I would never forget things. And uh, number four, I take a photo if I saw a ghost. So this is the second conditional. If I saw a ghost, I mm, take. So is it will, would, can, have to? Okay, remember, there's the past here, and then the, this part, I would. Okay, so that's just testing your grammar. Okay, we will do more multiple choice and uh, in the lesson, 
Okay, so goodbye for now.